I am so excited to share this video with you guys, but first you have to do your homework. So you cannot go any further in this video unless you've seen the video I did a couple of years back titled Say No to Date Box. And it was a review of a at home date box for couples. So before I go any further, go watch that video. I'll wait right here. Hey guys, Kiri here from 50 Shades of Mom. Tips for all shades of mom life. And I am so excited to share this video with you guys. I am literally over the moon. And if you've been with me for a couple of years and you know all about the date box fiasco, then you will know exactly why I am super excited to be sitting in this chair right now. So did you go ahead and watch it? If not, I'm gonna give you one more chance. I'm gonna link it up above in the I cards and down below in the description box. But if you don't watch the video, you're not gonna really get the full effect or the impact of why this video is so important to me. So about a month or a little longer or so ago, a company reached out to me on Instagram titled The Game Plan. And in their description of their initial writing to me, I'll actually pop it up right here for you guys to see and I'll keep it up for a little bit so you guys can get a chance to read it. But what they wrote to me really touched me and connected with me. So this is a new up and coming company that is doing at home date boxes, but they had seen my date box video and they used some of the things that I complained about in this other video as a way to do better in their box and that right there just warms my soul a little bit because that's what true customer service is all about listening to your customers and doing everything that you can to improve your experiences moving forward. You always want to continue to be better. Nobody's perfect, but if you hit a bump in the road, you want to be able to learn from that bump and move on. And I truly loved that they watch that entire video through. They were able to comment on all the contents of this box and my experience and said, hey, we wanna send you a box because we wanna leave a different taste in your mouth. That was not a good taste of what a at-home date box would be. And they said that they've been doing date boxes for friends as gifts, putting together little boxes and baskets and stuff. And then once all this COVID stuff happened and people are forced to kind of stay at home, force their hand to want to start their own company and share what they've been good at, something that they've been enjoying to do, which putting together these little boxes. So they sent this box to me for me to share with you guys. So I'm actually going to unbox this box and share with you guys everything that's inside. And then I'm going to do a part two where Daryl and I actually go on a date and use this box. It's been a little hard to nail my husband down. Things have been a little bit inconsistent because he started a new job. And so he's just completing his training. It's an eight week training program. And so he's studying for a lot of his final exams and things like that. And sometimes the schedule is being moved around and I cannot nail my husband down for a date. And that's part of the exciting things about doing these boxes because you don't need to plan some big thing to go out and do something elaborate. You can spend some quality time with their ideas right here at home, which is why I signed up for the original date box to begin with but then I had the kind of experience that I had and for the price, it just wasn't worth what came in that box. Again, if you saw that video, you would really understand. So the fact that they said that they wouldn't send me like yucky crappy popcorn or whatever, it just made me giggle. It really just made me feel good. So there was no way I was saying no to them. I was like, ah, I wanna see what you have to offer because I just, I've never gotten another date box or kind of date in a box since that. And matter of fact, that company closed down. Date box no longer exists. And they reopened under another name called Happily & Co. And if you look them up on Instagram, it says from the creators of date box. 
well, why isn't Datebox around anymore? Happily Co. is literally the same thing. I'm pretty sure they got closed down, and I don't know if I had any help with that, but I got tons of comments and reviews on this video, and people have wrote me and said, thanks to your review, I did not go forward and purchase. I mean, read the comments. They're filled with, I came on here to see a review of this box before I went and bought it from my spouse and I, and now I'm not gonna buy it because it's not worth it. So if I had some kind of hand in that, I wish I could apologize, but I don't feel like they should have been in business. I've actually thought about getting, let me know if you guys wanna do that. I've thought about actually just springing for the money and buying another box from their new line, the Happily & Co, and comparing it to see if they've changed their ways, but for what they were charging before and what they actually sent, it just wasn't reasonable. So I'm excited to share with you guys what's inside this box. One of the things that they said to me was that they don't do a lot of like decorating of the actual box. They put their money into what's inside the box, then a bunch of flashy packaging. So I think that's a pretty smart, but if this says outdoor fun in the game plan if you guys can see that and it is a pretty heavy box there's a fair amount of things in here so i'm going to open it and share it with you guys so they actually wrote me ah they wrote me the uh, sweetest little letter which i think is awesome and they are offering you guys five dollars off of your first box if you guys want to check them out so that's what this was to let you guys know that that's what they would be doing and then again this was titled outdoor fun so right away when i opened it there's a blanket you guys so outdoor fun i knew right away they were thinking maybe picnic or something like that but a blanket right there alone that's better than apple cider and crappy popcorn right so I was excited and then once I unfolded it, the things that were in here were just so sweet. So I'm gonna put the box down and pull things out and I'll share with you guys what's inside. So first I'll show you this little book and it says, welcome to your date and it says outdoor fun. So this one is exclusive to just this box. It's not like your, you know, a generic pamphlet or something. And it says the game plan, date night without the hassle. So inside they have a little business card and then they talk about all the things that are inside this box. Now they include something called chit chat, which is actually taped. I did not go into it. Well, we'll look at that in a second. And then they sent this little sticker that says the game plan. That's actually, actually their logo on Instagram. And then inside is just so sweet. So they're basically showing you everything set up. The blanket, the things that they include, and all their suggestions if you want to take a picnic. So it talks about the ring toss. It talks about the picnic. There's a scavenger hunt. It even shows you detailed photos of, you know, everything that's inside. And what did I read that was so funny? Oh, this says under picnic, listen to this. It says, what better way to spend an afternoon than in nice weather getting some fresh air with your partner? Pack a nice lunch in the insulated cooler bag and keep all your food and beverages cool. We know you shouldn't accept food from strangers, so we helped out a bit with some suggestions of del delicious picnic food ideas. No time, that's fine. Bust out the classics, sandwiches, macaroni, salads, a fruit, and a snack. So the fact that they said we you shouldn't accept food from strangers, again, that that made me giggle, that's taking what they saw in that video what other places were sending out like popcorn kernels that were dirty inside of an old plastic bag like that you shouldn't who would want to eat that like something that isn't packaged properly so the fact that they slipped in that little thing i don't know again that made me giggle so we'll do that chit chat stuff in just a second but they included a game plan frisbee and what i love is that they put their money again into the marketing so you get a frisbee out of it but if you're out playing in the park and somebody sees what's on it they might go home and google what's the game plan or let's go to their website or whatever so I love the marketing of it even if it's just not for the actual customer who purchased it to see this for elsewhere because that's smart marketing like I, I really thought that was super smart I'm like what a great way to spend your money like doing something like that so you've got a frisbee to play in the park and then here's your little insulated cooler bag and again it has their logo on it with their website 
and it's a decent size bag and it's completely insulated on the inside like a regular cooler bag would be but then they really and which is and the size of it is perfect for two like how many things do you really need to bring so here let me put the thing down and I'll show you how big the bag is so that's a nice size a bag for you to pack you know lunch for just you and your partner to go oh I just noticed it has a little side thing also for a bottle of water or a drink on the side and then they put recipe cards in here like that alone is such a sweet touch because this is something you will have forever like to pop popcorn and drink some apple cider or whatever or to make cake pops like nothing comes out of that but this is something you're always going to have and so they give you a recipe for a sparkling punch a turkey caprese sandwich yum uh garlic lovers bruschetta yum and southern southwestern black bean salad also yum so these things sound really good and even if you're not going to make this for your date you have four recipes that you know you just got on a cute little recipe card too it's not like it's crap you know so we got that then they gave a citronella candle in case it happens to be buggy and it smells good and lemony and just like citronella which i thought was super sweet creates a little bit of ambiance as well as keeping the pest away so i like that and then you also got okay wait i'll show you this so this is the scavenger hunt and it's like a laminated thing for you to use a dry erase marker and it has all these different things on here for you to find a pine cone bird's nest mushroom something beautiful something with a scent it starts with the first letter of your name a dandelion water fountain and that was just one row so i thought that was kind of fun because you know you can play it up however you want with your spouse or partner and whoever finds the most things in a certain amount of time frame wins what do you win i don't know i i i was thinking get out of the gutter i wasn't necessarily thinking dirty but i was thinking that you could do something fun with this like i just thought it would be something like this is something that you wouldn't do for yourself like you wouldn't go and write down all the things you would want to find i just thought this was a cute touch i don't know i'm corny like that but look at this this screams quality to me i didn't even take it completely out of the bag because i didn't want to disturb everything before i unboxed it with you guys but this is a heavy duty wooden ring toss look pieces of wood see look at the numbers on there so you got that then it's like this so you crisscross it like this ah, can i get it from this angle right you crisscross it like that how neat and then it comes with wooden dowels so the wooden dowels go in the holes oh my goodness they gave you a dry erase marker i didn't know that okay so you don't even need a dry erase marker they give you everything next to the food you shouldn't take from strangers so rock on game plan so i'm gonna put my dowels in the this is so cute oh my goodness wait till you see hold on all right so we got a reusable bag we said that right and then here is the instructions on how to play the ring toss and there's actually assembly instructions, which I did not read. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you know what? There are some people who just might not get it. So I like that they were covering all their bases. Again, in a laminated card that won't get ruined. A score sheet, also laminated for you to use your dry erase marker. So your dry erase marker can be used for multiple things. And then here are your rings. So they're all different color coded. So we have four of these ones and four of these ones. And this is your ring toss okay how is that for getting something in a date box you guys this is so cute this is not something you're just going to use on your one date you're going to take it home you're going to use it in your backyard you're going to let your kids use it you're going to bust this out at the next barbecue like i just thought this is heavy you guys that's why that box felt heavy this is like a nice solid it's two by four and it's hand stained and you can tell this is like hand cut and hand painted in their shed or i am just i don't mind hand done like this i mind your hand in my food but something like this that's like handmade from the heart or this like this hits somewhere close to home 
and then a blanket you guys this is a big blanket like this is not a little blanket this is not like this is a nice size perfect picnic bit like look how long this is can you see like i can't even share with you because it's so big this is perfect it's like a good blanket to leave in your car for hey we're gonna just stop right now with the kids and have a picnic let's just pull the picnic blanket out from the back seat like i love that and then there's chit chat cards so let's check and see what the chit chat cards say because these are the things that i did not open oh they're cute look they're little cards that's so stinking cute so this says if you could make one book or movie a reality which would you choose Ooh, that's a good question what would you choose if you woke up tomorrow with no fear, what would you do first? Ooh, these are good questions. What's one difference between us that you absolutely love? Oh, that's cute. Given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? What is the most important lesson to teach a child? Ooh, I love these. What's one thing you did as a kid that you miss most today? Just describe the most romantic date you can think of. Spare no expense. Would you rather a night in a fancy penthouse suite or a private beach house? Would you like to be famous? In what way? These are questions that you can be with somebody for like 30 years and still not know the answers because it's not necessarily something you would talk about. Like, oh, if you woke up in the morning with no fear, what would you do? That's not exactly something you would talk about but I would love to know his answer. So that's really cute. Would you like to be, oh, I said that one. What's one thing you wanna to do together that we have never done before? And that was it. So those are really cute. So basically they give you the blanket to sit down on. They give you the cooler bag and recipe cards to go ahead and pack your lunch. They give you chit chat cards so that if you run out of things to say while you're sitting there, you can chit chat. And what if this is something that someone orders and they're not married? This is like a guy trying to impress a girl and hey, let me buy a date and like use this date box to go do something. Those would be really awesome icebreaker questions if you have nothing else to say like just to be able to pull out something like that that engages some pretty deep conversation so you can light your citronella candle you can go on a scavenger hunt you can play frisbee or you can play with your ring toss like this to me you guys is a box and they're not paying me to say this i did not make any promises to them in fact i wrote to them that i would give my 100 percent honest review hence like I did with date box I, I had no problem sitting down and giving my feelings exactly how I felt and so I told them I'm gonna give my exact honest review I'm not getting anything for this they sent me this and I'm so glad that they did because I really want to come on here and shout them so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave all of their information down below as well as the code for you guys to save $5 off on your first box. And I just noticed that they shared either this morning or yesterday on their Instagram page that their new Halloween themed box is coming out for October on October the 6th, which is so exciting to me. I love themed boxes and I love that they're being smart and they're theming it to the month instead of me getting like apple cider and fall things in July. Those things felt very misplaced. This feels very cohesive. So I'm really excited you guys. I'm going to leave all their information down below for you. If you are new and you guys are looking forward to the date coming up to see all the stuff in play, make sure that you are subscribed. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you hang on tight because I'm excited for Daryl and I to go out and do this. I will tell you that one of our first dates was a Frisbee date and the guy kind of blew me away and the when i spoke about this with his mother years later she said i know the way that my son can throw a frisbee it's amazing like he was kind of embarrassing me because you know i can throw a frisbee it's not that difficult but daryl was making it look like he was some kind of a frisbee pro and then the ring toss like 
Dow's my all-American boy. It's a, He was a goalie in soccer and he was written up in the papers in all of his area. His mom saved all the clippings for me and I was able to read them. Like he was a big deal in his town. He was actually almost drafted to the minor leagues, but he blew out his arm and so he never got to go, but he was a pitcher in baseball and a phenomenal one at that. So I mean, there really isn't much that he hasn't played or hasn't done. When we went on our very first vacation ever to Vermont they had like a game room with a fireplace and it had like pool table and air hockey and all of that he literally kicked my ass in everything like literally every single thing I left feeling defeated I was like all right I'm never gonna play but they had chess I was on the chess team in school and he beat me and I was like I, I just couldn't believe it like there isn't anything that way that my husband is just not good at. So I'm excited to kind of do this ring toss with him and the frisbee and the food is like what I'm good at. So I get to make like, I think I'm gonna actually do their sparkling punch because that sounds really, really good. I think I might actually use some of their recipe cards and kind of pull something all together. I really wanted to do that super close to this video. I didn't want them to be too far apart, but again, with his schedule being the way that it is and I'm going away this weekend, I'm not exactly sure if how fast I'll be able to have that happen. It won't be too long, you guys. I'm not gonna stretch this out for a while. It'll definitely be within the next few days or so, but I was hoping to have it out like within a day or two and I just don't know if that's going to be possible but make sure you are subscribed like I said and stay tuned because I feel like we're going to have a lot of fun and we'll probably just vlog the whole day and take you with us on our whole daily adventures of him being off and kind of the stuff that we do in the day of the life of parents with three kids and a Paul and two dogs and a lot going on so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up again don't forget to go and check out game plan all of their information is listed down below i love you guys all so much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys